Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Last time we left off, we were we had made it through the Wild Mare, talked to everybody, got our quests and whatnot, but then we were trying to level up, and with Aloth, we didn't know what to do with his fighter skill point. However, I did some testing in between episodes. I, could, I tried to look it up on the internet, but I couldn't find anything, so I just did it myself. His fighter stance does count towards his spells, which is awesome. So this is going to give us plus five well the conqueror stance it gives us plus five to accuracy so that's going to go to all of our our spells now normally spells have pretty decent accuracy as it is and it goes up per level i believe however um there aren't as many ways to raise the accuracy of spells so this is good to have in my opinion uh when hurt or above the fighter's accuracy bonus increases now because we won't have him in front this accuracy bonus once we get down here is going to be even better which is awesome so we're taking fighting stances and on the wizard side now normally I would take Kalakos minor blights however this is our these are like uh, if you played Baldur, Baldur's Gate it's like Melf's minute meteors he just he throws really pretty the minor blights are like thrown weapons and they're pretty powerful and they're AoE but uh, as you can see, this is in my grimoire already. So if I really want to hold on to that, um, I can use the grimoire, at least for now. Um, otherwise, I'm actually going to... Let's check out this, actually. Bears Fortitude. No, we don't need these. Um, what I'm going to get is Exposed Vulnerabilities. This is actually a lot better on probably Path of the Damned. I'm not sure for this game, but I played through the first game on Path of the, da Path of the Damned. And this was a decent um, debuff for enemies. What it does is... It gives them minus two armor rating and minus 10 deflection. I don't know if that's going to stack with the other minus deflections we can give to them, give to enemies, but uh, I'm going to try it anyway. I guess it also interrupts them once, so that's pretty good too. But yep, that's what we're going to take. Expose vulnerabilities. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, uh, just to show you, let's go to warrior stance is what, what we want. Plus five accuracy. Now, we'll save it. And do a little minor blights on this guy. Now watch. If we come over here, if you can see... I can't keep it up. But anyway, under the accuracy tab, you can see all the way at the bottom the plus five from warrior stance. So, there you go. There's our proof. And the upgrade to it is going to be even better because we he never gets hurt unless he's probably unless there's like a rogue or something. All right, let's get out of here. Done everything we can in here, and it took us seriously 40 minutes last episode to do it, which is freaking crazy. Hopefully, I think we can actually leave this place now. We didn't go into the Valian Trading Company. Um, I think the only way we can get in there is through the sewer system right now, unless we have a reason to get in there, and we don't even have a reason to get in there, to go in there in the first place, so I'm not too worried about getting in there right now. I'm afraid if we do break in, it will, uh, set our course as it is, like make us an enemy of the Bailing Trading Company, so I'm gonna go through the rest of the town and see if any quests lead us there naturally. Alright, is there anybody in here? No. Good. Trap disarmed. Unlocked. What do we got? Hunting bow, peridot, and golden s swole. It's not. I was gonna say, is that a swallowet? But it's not. I wonder if that's where they get the word. Okay. <clears throat> this place is seriously huge. Lord Admiral Imp. Oh, that's the guy. I think that's one of our dudes that we got to kill so let's um holy cow that's a lot of zarups that's okay though doesn't look like it's anything we can't handle and especially because we can probably get the drop on them let's set up all of our guys i'm gonna put adair what are these champions skirmishers okay all right what we're gonna do is try to take out these guys after we killed the imp because I'm afraid he has some nasty spells. So, let's talk to him. Eh? Avast, Groundfell. Why disturb Lord Admiral, eh? eh? 
The imp glances left and right with evident anxiety. I'm not doing anything wrong. Eh, go away. The Zarups flanking the imp chitter to themselves and glance around the district. Uh, you wouldn't be trying to steal a boat, would you? Boat? Eh, Lord Admiral has fleet. Blast filthy ground stink city. Start with you, eh? The pitch of the imp's voice begins to turn heads. Get him, Cullies! Okay, well, he attacked us. Good. Just a second. Okay. What I want to do is, he's in the way of this champion, so let's actually have these two attack the Lord Admiral Imp. Adair, you're going to hopefully get these guys' attention, but probably not. Skirmish or range people like to shoot my guys in the back at, at this game, it seems. Which is fine, that's what they should be doing. Uh, okay. Insightful is the accuracy buff. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Accuracy buff. Aloth, you are going to chill fog all these guys. Looks like these, those are decent chances to hit. Look, 67%, 68%, 78%, and it does it more than once, so not bad. And you, I want you to marked prey against the Admiral Imp. Then just attack with your wounding shot? No, I want to do crippling strike. Make him easier, even easier to hit. He's only a one skull, so he should go down pretty quickly. Adair, I want you to... You know what? I'm going to have him hop and hurt these guys. Is it... Oh, God, it is per rest, so I'm not going to... Nah, screw it. Plenty of places to rest in here, so let's go ahead and use it. Somebody is healing him. I think it's the uh, priest. You... What do we got that you can use? Why is this not coming up? Do we not have any threes? We must not have any threes. What is mind blades? Oh yeah, it basically jumps a bunch of times and hits everyone. Just gonna have you do fireball. For the fun of it. Oh, and look at that. The priest came to us. Would like you to do your wounding shot now. Aloth, you need to do something. What do you need to do? Let's actually just have him alt Q and hurry up and take this guy down. Adair, go take out the... Or knock down the skirmisher. Or kill him. Nope, nope, just knocked him down. Okay. This champion's coming over to heal the... Uh, the Lord Admiral Imp. Let's hope he's down by then. No penetration with the crushing damage. So is he... Uh, it doesn't say. Oh well. It doesn't say what his crushing damage resistance is. So it must be normal. But we didn't get any penetration. Which kind of stinks. Alright. Everybody take out the priest. I want one per encounter. So I want Seraphin to heal himself. So he doesn't die to the champion. Adair is paralyzed. That's okay. We are going to work our way over there in a second. Bear, you go there and attack the champion while all my damage dealers are going to switch to the skirmishers. I want you to knock down the champion and then go back to the skirmisher. Aloth is going to take out the skirmisher, that one, while the other two start in on the other skirmisher. Why are they not attacking him? Nope, somebody healed the skirmisher. I shouldn't have switched targets. Summon a gun. Let's have him do... Oh, gosh, what can he do? Let's just... Oh, that's right. Confounding blind. Let's start doing that. I thought that was an upgrade to... Oh, okay. That was an upgrade to our uh, blinding strike. It took it off our hotkey, I think, is why I didn't notice. Good job, everyone. We should be able to take down everyone else relatively easily. Shoot him while he's on the floor. See if we can get some penetration on this one. I wonder how we would get penetration on our spells. That doesn't make much sense. Second wind, that's a per encounter heal. 
It's a self only heal for normally you get it by upping survival. No, not survival. It's athletics, I think. I don't know how you get it in this game though. All right, that's one guy down. But I think the quest giver is all the way in dunnage, so we're not really going to be able to turn it in just yet. All right, Flame Ward, plus three burn armor rating and plus 10 to all defenses against fire attacks. Overwhelm, being critically hit with a fire attack will cause interrupt and give a negative 10 will penalty for 30 seconds. I'm, I imagine it's to the attacker, not to myself. Torque of Intellect, that is a neck piece, and we've already got too many neck pieces, so I'm not going to use it. Lord Admiral Imp's Map Fragment. Quest item. This piece of tattered parchment shows the familiar waters and land masses of the Deadfire Archipelago, but without the other pieces, it's impossible to tell where it points or how to get there. A note is scribbled in the margins. Imp, guard parchment. Yes? No give away, no try and sell. When other crew stink find you, follow them for treasure. Yes? Good imp. Captain Henqua. Now, was he actually an imp? I thought he was just pretending to be an imp. Well, we got two things to sell then. Even... Nothing we can really use or want to use. I don't like uh, equipping myself purely for one specific type of attack, especially when it's an elemental attack, because you never know when it's going to come. Uh, Luminous Audra Mill. What? Why is there a mill for Luminous Audra? I'm still not quite certain what Luminous Audra is. I know it's... The Audra Stones are the, the big rocks that jut up out of the ground that supposedly hold souls but I don't maybe luminous Audra is the ones that have souls in it currently I don't know I imagine we'll find out as we go along in the game <clears throat> mill guard mill worker all right this is all stealing so we can't exactly do that oh we have some luminous Audra crates so maybe we can actually sell them here Cortina Cortina's voice finds you before she does, her barks of laughter and cheerful directives, re directives resounding throughout the mill. She flits from worker to worker, offering critique and approval. When she finally spots you, a shadow of apprehension passes over her face. She hides it with a toothy grin. Tell your queen I will have her taxes, her prize share, whatever it is, by the end of the week. Business is good, and we are very busy, eh? What is a prize share? A Juana term referring to the distribution of wealth. You must have me confused with someone else. Wait, you are not the tax collector. She narrows her eyes, her hand twitching over the hilt of her blade. What business brings you to my mill? Who are you? Que? Che cosa? You go around asking just anyone in Queen's Birth personal questions. Maybe you end up dead in a ditch. Have caution, eh? Asking your name <laughs> is, uh... A personal Lucky question? For you, I am a woman of honor. She gives you a sunny smile and claps her hands together. I direct luminous milling for the Valian Trading Company. It's a nice job, huh? And I'm quite good at it. You want to know more? I need a drink first, per guano. Cortina claps you on the shoulder, a playful smile on her lips. What do you do here? Cortina looks about the room with exaggerated wonder, her eyes, her green eyes wide. She laughs a little to herself and runs a finger across the arm of the chair beside her. She holds a finger up for your inspection. It's caked in shimmering blue dust. We mill luminous, of course. Take big <clears throat> chunks, break into smaller chunks, crush into dust-sized chunks. Per complanquenet, it is really not so complicated. She gives you a condescending little pat on the arm. What is per complanquenet? A valiant term meaning literally for mercy or for little mercy, which is taken as, come on now. I need refined luminous Audra. I need a large country estate and several handsome women to fan me with palm fronds. <laughs> it is good for handsome the heart women? to dream what? impossible dreams, yes? The Adra belongs to the Valian Trading Company, Amico. Unless you plan to open a bathhouse to rival the one in Perikis Overlook, we will take no orders from you. What is this? Uh, bluff. I don't have Bluff 9. I have 6. Uh, can't you make an exception? I cannot. All right, so we need uh, okay. some more bluff. If I can come up with... In between episodes, I'll go through my inventory and see if I can rummage up three points worth of bluff through uh, um, ingredients, maybe a rest bonus, and some equipment. I think I have a necklace that gives me bluff. I can't remember. What do we got here? A wet dog. Aw. Let's, Abraham, I'm going to put you in the critter cleaver. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, reduces recovery penalty for armor. Uh, and your party members will regain some health when they kill an enemy. I really don't like regain, regaining health when you kill an enemy because it's hard to plan who's going to get a random crit and kill them instead of you. So, normally the best person to do that on is either a ranged guy, which they shouldn't be getting hurt, or a full carnage barbarian can make decent use out of it. That plus the, uh, oh geez, what's it called? The cleric buff that gives you health on, on a kill. Queen is holding court today with the Balians and Rawatians. How long before they're killing each other? Wager on it. All right, Sons' map Emporium, we've already been in there. We have not been to the Bardato estate. I went to the Wild Mare, I did not see... Um, what's his face? Find Lara, where is he? Southwestern Bridge, okay. The southwestern bridge and behind the district's waterfall. So we're not going to go in there yet because we need to Have find Lorato first. Have about the commotion at the palace? Of course. Something about Luminous Adra. A giant made of Luminous Adra. All I know is that they're all at each other's throats up there. If you see here, blue smoke. I imagine that's not good to mine things that have souls in them. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Someone's coming. Might get in a fight up here. These rustabouts. You both Whoa. attest that you have made all possible efforts to come to a peaceful. The woman trails off as you approach and you find yourself the sudden target of the crowd's attention. Let's see what they said first. I accidentally hit space. Against a backdrop of jeering youths, a young woman raises her arms with an air of practice drama. Before her, two men stand across from each other, mirroring scowls. It's a duel. Who is this Nasenale? How many cousins do you have or so? Or so. I know him. Postenago. No, maybe I don't. Does that look like any cousin of mine? How should I know? Your kin lie with eels. Orso glares at Laro and bites back whatever insult he had at the ready. We have business. What do you want? I'm here to fetch L Laro. Nira is looking for him. A few chuckles arise from bystanders and Laro's face flushes with embarrassment. The family keeps you on a tight leash, Laro. Will getting impaled on a Valera blade prove something to them? Psst. Watch your words, Of. You want the Juana to know we're dueling? That is the guy we're looking for, Laro Bada Bardato. My bad so to the tribes. <clears throat> we should be free to settle <laughs> matters on valiant terms. Bato means penis, apparently. Orso glances in your direction with annoyance. Small wonder the old empire collapsed in civil strife if this is the valiant way. And how do your colonies fare, Adira? <laughs> uh, I suppose you have a good reason for this duel? This street thug called my family a warren of corrupt inbreds. But is there a dung heap in all the world that does not have a little Valera cousin scratching through it? Lara opens his arms wide and smiles to the milling crowd. That wolf he calls mother would have us live out our days polishing Bardato silver. Orsa spits at the ground between them. The Juana are gathering reinforcements to storm this position. They should be here any second. <laughs> oh no. Uh, shut up and shake hands before I hurl you both over this waterfall. <laughs> Is this slight w worth one of your lives? Yep, I am dipl diplomatic, and that is the diplomatic Act. choice. This is but one chapter in a long anthology of Bardato arrogance. <laughs> arrogance? Per complanquenet, you should thank me for my patience. All right, does this have to be settled by death? Surely there are better alternatives. Nothing less than the total disgrace of the Valeras would satisfy me. That guy's voice is very, very familiar. I don't know why. Then you will die unfulfilled. Anyone can kill. Fighting to first blood would be enough to prove who's the better man. Uh, that is diplomacy. We're going to go that way. The pair of duelists eye each other warily. I was the one who suggested fisticuffs. But you were eager to cut me open. To first blood, then. Shall we resume? 
The duelists square off and tenta tentatively circle each other. Stocky Orso moves with heavy strides while Laro takes preci precise measured steps. Onlookers gather and press at the edges of the poorly defined arena. Their jeering lowers to expectant mutters. The duelist seconds bring forth their weapons. Um, what do we got here? Blessing. Cast a blessing on one of the duelists. Uh, take the opportunity to study each of the opponents. What is that? Insight? Yeah, let's try to study them. No, no one has insight. Son of a gun. It's a watcher only check. Well, let's try it anyway. Failure. Okay, find a better vantage point to observe the fight. What? Why am I the only one who can do it? Okay, let's cast a blessing on them with Ch Choti. Laro, because I need him alive. What is that? Stealth? I don't have stealth, so never mind. Let's do nothing. Alright, once the swords are delivered to their respective bearers, the seconds back away in melancholy si silence. The duelists cross their swords and bow and salute. The tranquil moment ends with a burst of motion. Despite their difference in size, the duelists seem evenly matched. Orso doesn't settle on an established form, but he keeps pace with Laro's aggressive strikes. I'm just gonna watch. I don't wanna. I don't want either of them to win or lose. Orso and Laro trade fierce jabs, giving up any pretense of playing to the crowd. A hard downward thrust sends Laro's blade clattering to the ground. Orso hovers over Laro, a gr grin slowly taking form. He raises his blade and points it at his opponent's heart. This was supposed to be a fight to first blood, but mercy is the farthest thing from the minds of the combatants. Uh, shout at the top of your lungs. Stop. Orso hovers over... Orso's killing stab goes wildly askew, missing his opponent's heart and instead carving a long slice across Laro's cheek. Well, hopefully he won't get in a fight like an idiot next time. Laro falls to his knees, clutching at his face. Not so pretty anymore, Postenago. Laro, go find and sis your sister so she knows you're alive. This does not end here, Valera dog. Laro wipes away a line of blood and cats casts it to the ground. Just make sure the other Bardatos learn from your example. Orso nods and signals for his attendants to depart. I don't know if either of them are any good, so I didn't want to back either one because they're both decently large families it looks like so I guess we'll see how that I guess we'll see how that uh, decision comes up later maybe it'll bite me in the butt maybe it won't nope she's not down there so she must be in the Bardato estate Welcome to the Bardato Estate. You can find Azalea in her study. Azali. Laro Bardato. Let's see what he's got to say. My face still hurts, but not as badly as a sword through the gut. At least you are grateful. <clears throat> Nira Bardato. Is that the Laro one? Laro has returned yep, there to the go. estate intact. Perfetto. Nira loosens her grip on her ledger. Too much Bardato blood has been spilled in the name of Vengiata. Her and that damn ledger. Tell Laro to stay out of trouble. I did get the feeling there's some, still some <clears throat> unfinished business. Fuck. Nothing has been solved. Only delayed. Here, for your discretion. She passes you a pouch of coins and adds a short mark to her ledger before snapping it shut. You have not met Mother, have you? Nier thumbs her chin, leaving a spot of ink behind. I'm certain she'll have work for someone invested in the family. Alright, well, let's go talk to him then. Is there anyone in here? No? Good, we can steal all the books. <clears throat> Servant. These dour portraits seem to observe your movements up and down the corridor. Oh, we got a secret. Close the dang door. Uh, no, scroll of prayer of spirit. What does that do? Gives us smart for 36 or 63 seconds. Five intellect. Eh. I like to keep all the scrolls just in case. There's always that one hard situation where you need to buff yourself with something. So if you sell them all, you remember it in that instance and you kick yourself later. Ah, yes. 
a newcomer. I thought you might visit. Alright, I'm gonna save it and see if I can get some experience by unlocking this. Thief's putty. What is that? Two to mechanics, two to sleight of hands, and two to stealth. Nice. And a lot of money. Lady Izali Bardato. Custom dictates, I say, at your service. But I have not the time for such lies. She regards you with a cool expression, but stands with a fighter's poise. Well, she looks very old. Will your animal be tracking mud through my estate? Ooh, Ranger Ghost Heart. What is that? Uh, Mesta will behave. I will hold you to it. You saw my son dueling with the Valera boy. At least he survives to learn from his mistakes. Looks like she's got a couple scars on her face as well. Those who aid my blood profit by it. Azali produces a purse from her desk drawer and tosses it in your direction. When Valera and Bardato cross each other, only blood and sorrow remain. Azali, Azali sighs, her gaze turning away. Uh, do, 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 do. I see your point. Do you see your families ever making peace? Perhaps in time, if Great Wardika judges us worthy of supporting the company. Word has spread fast about the little spectacle at the docks. You've certainly caught everyone's attention. Perhaps the Watcher of Cadnua and House Bardato can help one another. Cadnua was my old castle, if anyone's forgotten. What is it you want? Queen's Beth whispers of a Valera plot against my family. Something grander than pointless jewels. You are a newcomer to the Deadfire. Uniquely positioned to loosen Valera tongues. She taps her chin and regards you thoughtfully. Zilly Valera strums a lute by the watchtowers. A meek-tempered boy. Fonder of song and drink than the family business. He might spill something of his family's affairs. Uh, what if there is no plot against the Bradatos? No, I'm not, I'm not into what ifs. Uh, wouldn't the governor take an interest in this treachery? I'll go and see what I can get out of Zili Valera. Try not to alert the Valeras of our knowledge. That is the point of involving an outside agent. Of course, of course. Uh, your family seems very well established here. No, hold on, I want to do this one. What is it? You notice something unusual. Your attention is drawn to Azalea's... Azal Azalea's desk. Among the assorted ledgers and documents sits a brass seal still dripping with heated wax. The drippings have dried into an almond-shaped pattern which resembles the shape of an eye, an eye fringed with bird feathers. A ni nictit oh my god, nictitating? A nictitating membrane flicks across its surface in a barely perceptible wink. Are you still with me? Ezali breaks your focus by waving her hand in front of your face. She glances between you and her tidy desk, frowning. Your desk, the eye. She glances back at her desk again, this time with impatience. I'd venture that you're working too hard. Your family seems very well established here. Ugh. My bank shoulders the cost of the Valian Trading Company's operations in the Deadfire. It is said that no Valian may wipe themselves unless a Bardato <laughs> signature approves it first. Well, if that's true, we gotta stop shaking hands with them. <laughs> I'm certain you've touched worse. Farm hand. Is that Ezali's mouth twitches just shy of a smirk? Why are the Bardatas and Valera feuding? Because we do not belong in the same business. The Valeras are opportunists reaping the rewards of happenstance. And let me guess, you make the opportunities happen. They're little better than the pirates they're charged with slaying. Better is self deception, mayhaps. <laughs> uh, okay, we're done. So, we need to go talk to Zili. I don't remember seeing a Zili anywhere around, so let's actually go to the Bardato Vault. I might be able to unlock some stuff and get some free experience. I think we still got one or two people who need... No, just one person. I think... Someone still needs a level, I think. Maybe not. The guard captain takes his time moving to the barred door, his armor creaking with every step. He appraises you with a lazy sweep of the eyes while his fingers curl casually about the hilt of his blade. You have an appointment to see the vault, sir? A vault? What's in there? The Bardatos are a banking family, Mestre. We hold a great many accounts belonging to our fellows within the Valian Trading Company. 
We also safeguard those valuables they entrust to our keeping. A matter you may discuss with the lady. Upstairs. Alright, fine. I'll leave. I do want to see what's in the vault, though. Maybe there's a blue-suited wanderer in there. Probably not. Greatest plot twist of the century. Uh, Pillars of Eternity 2 is the prequel of Fallout 76. <laughs> Alright. We need to get out of here, but there's still two places I need to see. Osa's Famous Fish, Hunting and Sundries. I'm pretty sure I already talked to them. No, maybe I didn't. Where did we come from? We came from this way, so no, I didn't go up there. There's actually another place up here, too. Looks like the boat building place, the shipwright. Alright, Osa. Careful, Show me your fish, me. please. Nothing that I want, just food. And Welcome. you. Of Let me course. see what you got. Clay grub figurine. One per rest, I can summon two cave grublings. Yes, we will take that. Unguent of am animalism. Plus two athletics, plus two survival. We will actually take one of those. Remember, just in case we need it for a skill check. A neglected dog. Levin. One intellect, and your party moves more quickly in combat. Not bad, but not what we want. Intellect is pretty good on a barbarian Dark. because... Gives you plus area of effect, and his big free. thing is a area cleaving attacks. Zamar. Be within just a... <sighs> Almost had it. Damn your eyes. The sun-scarred dwarf gingerly picks at a splinter in his thumb, muttering. Yeah. Hazard of the work, really. He gives up with a frustrated grunt, shaking his hand. Came in on the sloop? I can hammer your ship together if you're apt to pay me for it. Samar bears his teeth and grinds them hard enough to sound over the noise of the dock. Having trouble with a client? Aye. Captain Radora hasn't paid me for her commissioned firepower. Samar pulls at the end of his beard and winces. While I'm up to my nose in debt, the wild mare gobbles up her coin. Who is that? Samar, or Captain Radora. I don't remember seeing her in there. And now, pirates are holding my feet to the fire over some sham of a deal. Samar winces and tugs harder at his beard in self-administered punishment. Oh. If I don't get Redora's payment, I might as well start carving my swallow net. If it gets me a discount on your labor, I could hunt down Redora. You do that? A fair price goes without saying, Cully. Zamar entangles his hand from his beard to link his thumb and forefinger with a wink. It all comes down to blasted pans and pyres in the end, doesn't it? I'd like to see your goods. Oh. Holy cow. Jesus. Junk is worth 114000 It's a ship. <sighs> Requires at least nine crew to operate. Jeez. Uh, this is a huge gold sink in uh, getting your boat ready to go. I'm going to actually just maybe fill up on repair supplies at least. I don't think I need anything else. Uh, I need some water. Let's get some water. And maybe... <sighs> you know what? Let's buy one worm tongue. A deer channel gun. I don't know what mine are, so it's hard to tell. Can I see? No, I can't even see what mine are, so I really don't know if these are better or not. A double bronzer. Reload time, eight turns? What? What is the reload time on this? Five turns? Mine was only two turns, right? Yeah, Dear Warden Hognose. Four to seven. Ideal range, 150 to 400 meters. Ideal range, zero to 400 meters. Okay. And it really doesn't do much more damage either. Six to nine, this does four to seven. Jeez. I'll have to go through this in more detail in between episodes to see what's actually worth it or not, because I probably just wasted that money. I can't wait five freaking turns to fire again. That's crazy. Just for a one damage increase and more accuracy if I'm closer. Okay. 
Let's go back to here first, and then we'll go to the wild mare. Actually, you know what? We are at 35 minutes, so this is where we're going to end it for now. What do we got up here? The back alley and dockside arms and armor. So, dockside arms and armor, that's what we want to look at first thing next episode. So, please leave a like or comment below, and feel free to subscribe for more full Let's Plays like this one. And that's my mama.